Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel Hub. Today I'll be showing you how to use the match function in Excel. The match function is used to locate the position of a cell within a data array and works by first inputting what value you are looking for, followed by where you are looking for it, i.e. the data array, and finally the type of match you're looking for, which is either going to be exact, less than or greater than. In this video, we will start by covering an example of the exact match, followed by the less than match, and finally the greater than match. In example one, we have the race positions from the recent Silverstone F1 race. We want to identify which position the given driver finished the race in. To do this, we can use the exact match, as we want to find the value in the data array equal to this driver's name. So we type equals match, we're looking for the driver Giovinazzi within the column containing the drivers and we type zero as we're using an exact match. Excel has retrieved position 17 which is indeed the position Giovinazzi finished the race in. If we change the driver we're looking for to say Ricciardo, Excel retrieves the value 14 which also corresponds to the position Ricciardo finished the race in. Next, let's consider an example where we need to use an approximate match. In this example, we have a range of students and their scores, and want to identify which student got a score of 80. However, since no student achieved such a score, we need to use an approximate match to find the student that achieved a score closest to 80. Here, we can either select the option to retrieve the closest value which is less than 80, or the closest value which is greater than 80. In this example, we will retrieve the closest value which is less than 80. To do this, we must first order the scores from smallest to largest by entering the data tab, clicking filter, and then selecting smallest to largest. We can now once again type equals match. We're looking for a score of 80 within the column containing the scores and we type 1 as we want to find the closest value lower than 80. Next, we can use the index function to find which student achieved this score. So we type equals index, select the column containing the students, and then select the position we want Excel to retrieve. Therefore, Rachel achieved a score of 78, which is indeed the closest score lower than 80. Next, let's consider how we could go about retrieving the closest value greater than 80. Here we're going to once again select filter. However, instead of ordering the scores from smallest to largest, we're going to order them from largest to smallest. We can then type equals match, look for 80 within the data array. The only difference now is that we type minus one instead of one as we want to find the closest value greater than 80. Let's then again use the index function to determine which student achieved such a score. So instead of retrieving Rachel, Excel has retrieved Alex because he achieved a score of 81, which is the closest score greater than 80. So those are the three main ways you can use the match function in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.